All right, International Women's Day yesterday, I queried, you know, in places like Australia, if it's relevant. I think everyone has uh, their own view on that one. But uh, have a look at this. Swimwear brand Seafolly under fire today for a campaign fronted by Denny Todorovic, 34-year-old non-binary activist, born male, uh, announced as a new ambassador for the women's uh, swimwear brand. A lot of criticism today from women particularly who find it offensive, they say, that there's not a woman being used, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'll leave others to, to make the decision on that. But but the comments from Tavorovic are what upset me. He's saying, you know, basically back off, except that I'm here. Some women do have penises. Now, Lisa, I'm exhausted by this nonsense. Um, <laughs> it's 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 cancelling women. Um, I find it offensive as a woman, um, less so about him fronting a swimwear brand, but, but more about his comments in defence of that. What do you think? Yeah, 50.2%, uh, I looked at the figure, 50.2% of the Australian population are female. There's about 1,200 people who identify as transgender by the, the stats I looked at. Look, this might have been a PR win for Sea Folly in that it's got, you know, wall-to-wall -wall media coverage. But at the end of the day, how many of that 50.2% of Australians who, like you and I, think that women are being cancelled at every turn are now going to go against and stand against that brand. I, I don't know about you, whether you'll be buying Sea Folly again, but you know, it's we were all about body positivity when it came to swimwear brands and, and fashion. What happened to that? Nicole? Yes, Peter, it certainly didn't encourage me to go and buy that particular outfit or to go and shop with Safe Folly anymore. Uh, but what's more concerning is that this is a huge distraction. It is part of cancelling women, but more so it um, forces us to talk about this rather than issues like Bindi Owen very bravely coming out yesterday and um, announcing that she has endometriosis and has been in terrible pain for a decade. Took her a long time to get the help that she needed. And these are precisely the sorts of issues that only affect women that we should be focusing on.